on EA Sports. Two running backs will take the field today in hopes of leading their team to victory. It's Freeman's Falcons going up against Morris's Redskins. Now we'll head down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this Week 5 matchup. Redskins, Falcons on EA Sports as we get set for today's Week 5 matchup. Hello, friends. Jim Nance alongside Phil Sims. And, Phil, we've prepared for this game by talking to the players and the coaches. What do you expect? Well, Jim, you know, just talking to the coaches, talking to both of them, how fired up they were. So if the coaches are that fired up, can you imagine how the players are going to be? Their emotions are going to be at sky-high level. That means we are going to have a hard-hitting game. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch. The Redskins are back deep, waiting to return the kick. Matt Bosher ready to kick it away to start the game. And with that kick, we're underway. Jackson's going to test the coverage here. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. Griffin's coming off a game where he threw two touchdown passes a week ago. Robert Griffin III, even if he couldn't run, will be a success in the NFL because this guy can throw the football. Double tight end formation. First down at the 19. Handled by Griffin. And Morris is tackled right at the 20. Trying to establish the run, but there's nothing there here at the start. Well, they didn't pick up many yards that time, no doubt about it, but that's a bad job by the running back. He picked the wrong side to run to. Nobody was blocked from the side he went to. And Morris is going to secure the handoff. Here's a look at the Redskins offense. Starting with the offensive line. It's a dangerous bunch. Currently fourth in the league when it comes to rush yards per game. Third and nine. Can't find a mark, and this is going to bring up fourth down. Short series this time for the offense. The Redskins call for the punt. Hester's going to try and return this punt. Robinson's there to make the tackle. And a run back of about 17. Here's the former Boston College quarterback, Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan is noted to be more of a timing-throwing quarterback, but this guy, when you give him a chance, he knows how to air it out and hit receivers in stride. Falcons will take the snap from the 40. Trying to power his way right up the middle. Freeman's marked down at the 47. You want to be a running back in the NFL, I'll say this. You better be able to break some tackles. We saw multiple tackles broken that time. Good job. It's second down and three. Ryan connects with Julio Jones on that one. Touchdown. It was a short route by the receiver. He catches it, goes all the way down the field, and scores a touchdown. And the quarterback looks at the coach and goes, hey, it was a heck of a throw. The Falcons with an extra point try on the way. Add the extra point. The kick is good. Jones going to watch now as his defense gets ready to come into the game. He just put up over 50 yards receiving, helping his team go down the field for the score. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. 
the Redskins offense comes back onto the field. Let's see if they can move the chains this time because the last possession was ugly. They weren't out there very long. Well, Jim, you know how I think in situations like this, I think it's more up to the coach than the players. Call a play that really catches the defense off guard so you can get an easy gain and get the momentum on your side and get it rolling. You can do all you want on the defensive side. You can give a lot of looks, but it's just too easy for the quarterbacks and receivers to throw a catch. RG3 has it under center. They'll go ground. Trufant's all over that offense. That brings him down. Redskins offensive coordinator, he has to be frustrated by that play. I think he calls the right play, but what happens? The run loses yards. That's just a bad job by the offensive line. Second down and 12. Taking off. Griffin's now going to hit the ground in a slide and end the play. That's a really smart job that time by the quarterback. Pick up all the yards you can, and before you're going to get hit, slide in there like you're going to second base. The Redskins snap it at the 41. Beasley has the sack. Late in the first, and that's a big stop on third down to bring up a punt, and now they'll look to extend the lead. Yeah, good job by the defense, but I'll say this for the the offense you got to show more imagination if you want to have success especially on third downs and this will end up in the end zone for a touchback the Falcons offense preparing to get this drive underway their last drive actually ended in a touchdown Phil we'll see if they still have it in them to issue a repeat performance well what you saw in that last drive was everything just came together perfectly for them the experience of the football team the talent of the players and the coaches helped them out and they got it done Freeman's a very smart runner he knows situations in the game he saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. Not a whole lot of scoring here as we welcome you back to the action. The Falcons decked out in a lot of pink, and we see pink throughout the building. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month in the NFL. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Roddy White with the catch. Nice catch that time by the receiver on the slant route. Quarterback puts it right on target. The quarterback, he's changing the play with the wide receiver with those hand signals. Ryan's taking off. And Freeman has the catch. That's a nice job that time by the quarterback. He's forced out of the pocket, and when he moves, he's excellent throwing the football on the run, and he gets the completion. Ryan's three for three with that completion. Falcons have it at the 24. Ryan's going to take off with it. Game's 20. And now we reach the two-minute warning here in the second quarter. The Falcons now inside the 20. A week ago, they converted time and time again inside the red zone. No margin for error from just outside the goal line. Almost intercepted that time. Good job that time by the defensive player. He reads the quarterback, gets in position, down near his own end zone. Knocks that pass down. Second and goal from the four. Got hit on release. Jim, I just want to say this to the quarterback. It's third and goal. If the play's not there, throw it away. Do not force the action. Third and goal at the four. Hey, touchdown, Atlanta. That's his fifth receiving touchdown this year. Nice throw by the quarterback that time. Put it right on the money. Not a big window. It doesn't matter to him today. Great control of the football. Put it right in there for the touchdown. The Redskins ready to return the kick.
is made right around the 25 yard line. The Redskins bringing their offense onto the field. It wasn't a very productive possession for them last time out, partner. They ended up punting. Well, you know what it was? It was a good feeling out process. So they got some knowledge by watching the defense and what defenses they tried on them. So you've got to take advantage of that knowledge and come out here and make some plays. First down all the way. Good job by the offense going the hurry up offense. You do this to get the plays in, but also you want to conserve the timeouts. And it's caught by Jordan Reed. That's his first reception today. Situations you go over so many times in practice and training camp. Know what's going on in the offensive side, how to preserve time. Good job that time by the offensive player. Get out of bounds and give his team more chances to get it done here in the first half. Griffin's now completed four in a row. Third down on the way. Quickly to the line. And the catch blows out. This one's going back the other way. No one's going to get him now. Taking it all the way home for the touchdown. Anytime you're out there in open space, that football's bounce around. They, they did the right thing on the defensive side. Pick it up, try to score some points. Terrific job by the defense that time. The Redskins have let this one get away from them today. Need to try and turn things around in a hurry. The score's 21 to 0. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Redskins offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake the last time they had the ball. The turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go and go out there. Be aggressive and see if you can score some points. First down at the 34. Jordan Reed has the reception. Trufant's there to make the tackle. The Redskins decide to take a timeout here, leaving them with only one. Here's the first snap after the big play. Pick. It looks like the first half will end just the way it started with this defense dominating in all aspects. This defense has some attitude, don't they? Uh, they play fast, they play hard, and they just dare you to throw the football. Well, the offense finally did it. They took a chance, and they paid for it. Freeman's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Second down and six. Freeman's handed the football. Freeman's there that time for the tackle. Freeman's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. The Falcons are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. ready to play after calling a timeout look out they're changing the play to take advantage of something they see on the defensive side third down and one and now Ryan's gonna take off that's White with the catch from Ryan that'll do it for the first half We'll be sending you to Larry Ridley back in our studios as we continue with the NFL on EA Sports. Thanks, Jim. I'm Larry Ridley, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. The Falcons are happy to be sitting in the locker room with a lead. The Redskins didn't play their best, and they'll need to be at their best now to come back. All right, let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. 
midway through the first quarter. Jones is going to haul in the pass, and after the short pass, he'll score. They strike first in the half. All right, Larry, thank you for that from the studios and halftime. We're going to transition now. We're about to get the third quarter underway. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Falcons offense takes the field. Let's see if this momentum can carry over from the first half because they have been brilliant to this point, partner. Yeah, a lot of things change in that locker room at halftime. You know, you you might feel good about what you've done. Of course, you got to realize the defense might be upset and is willing to come out here and take more chances in the second half. The Redskins will come out in the dime. Second and eight. Freeman's taking the handoff. Riley's the one who made the big stop. Falcons now on third down. Just a week ago, they converted at a high rate in third down situations. Now he's going to change the play. And look out. I think he's going to go down the field with the football. Ryan's now going to leave the pocket and tuck it under. The Falcons believe they can pick up the first in this short yardage situation and keep the offense on the field. The Falcons step up to the line, employing now their jumbo package. D'Angelo Hall in on the stop. Gotta have a lot of courage to call these type of plays, don't you, Jim? And, and at that time, even though this team is winning, the coach decides to go for it on fourth down. Good play call, and they make it work. Almost to the 40 at the 39-yard line. Freeman's lined up in a single back formation. Picks up eight here. That was an awesome job by the running back that time, breaking those tackles in the NFL. The low man wins. That time, the running back was the low man. The Redskins defense now is going to go nickel. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. That's an awesome job by the offense picking up this first down here in the second half. They've got a big lead. It's not about scoring anymore. It's just about milking that clock. And that is an art that this team is good at. First and ten. Going for the home run. Touchdown, Falcons. Jones' second touchdown of the game. We're getting late in this game, late third, and it's getting uglier by the moment, partner. Yep, it's turned into that. I think it turned into an ugly game quite a while ago, Jim, and it's been dominating. Uh, they're just doing it in so many ways. And the opponents, they just have no answers. The point after try is in the books. The Redskins ready to return the kick. the 23 the Redskins just gave up some big turnover points let's see if they can hold on the football this time Phil because we know how crucial it is we talked to the coaches about it this week this was their concern with this team well if you want to stay on the field you better quit turning it over right Jim that's what they the coaches look you you make mistakes on the field they're gonna get they're gonna be forgiving to a point but you got to be smart you got to be efficient and get the job done Alfred Morris lined up in the backfield. The Redskins have it at the 29. And Morris is tackled down at the 29. Fourth quarter and a blowout. Let's see if we can get this game over in a hurry. 
<laughs> wow, you don't have to say it that way. I'm anxious to see how, how this game ends up and how they play it out. I want to see a team that has some pride, and even though they're getting blown out, to stay in there and keep fighting. All you can do is your job, and that was a good job by the offense, picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. Hey, don't worry about the score right now. Just find ways to execute plays and get down there and score a touchdown. Griffin's completion percentage, 80% on the day. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Falcons with a nickel look here on defense. Griffin's got it in the gun. This will be incomplete. He was trying to find Reed. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. The Redskins have to get to the 49 for a first. Deshaun Jackson on the receiving end. That's another reception, giving him two. Well, that'll make you feel a little better finally getting a first down. You're down big in the second half, and you're on the offensive side. Don't look for the quick score. Just look to pick up positive yards and hope it leads you to a score later. Godfrey's all over the ball carrier. Well, we see it more and more. Football's thrown behind the line of scrimmage. They do it that time. Nice catch, but a loss of yards on the play. Just two minutes left in this one now. Back in a moment. Welcome back. Coming out of the two-minute warning here in the final quarter. Second and 12. Reed with the grab. And pick up about four. The defense is going to play conservative in situations like this. They have a lead here in the fourth quarter. They'll give up those short throws. Third down and eight. Incomplete as he was looking short. Redskins really don't have much of a chance of picking up this first down. It's third long. Of course, the defense is looking for passes down the field. They're all over everything, and the pass goes incomplete. The punt is kicked out of bounds. The Falcons coming back onto the field on offense. They took it down the field for a touchdown the last time they had it. Listen, momentum is on their side. When you have that going for you, keep the defense guessing at what you're going to do. So I think it's very important to stay aggressive in this situation. All right, coaches, don't get greedy. Be decisive over there on the sideline. Do what's best for your football team. Keep getting those first downs and letting that clock just keep running. You got a big lead here in the second half. Don't take any chances. The Falcons had a tight victory a week ago, and they seem to be thinking now, why keep it close in this one? They've been in control from the start of this one, Phil. That tight victory last week, it just, didn't, it just gave them confidence, and they have come out today, and right from the very start, they have been hot, and they have been smoking. What a job by them. The quarterback's picked up on something. He's changing the play here. Jason Hatcher wraps up the quarterback. Every defense is looking for somebody to hit the quarterback, and the best person to do it is the defensive end. What a good job that time by him. The Falcons have to get to the 49 for a first. Falcons from the 37. Lions on the move. Makes the catch in open space. The football rests at the 44. The Falcons come out in a jumbo set. The Falcons have it at the 44. Lions gonna scramble. Falcons now move the chains. Touchdown, Atlanta Falcons. Ryan's just thrown his 15th touchdown of the season. 
that could be construed as running up the score, Phil. This game was already in the bag. Well, Jim, it could be construed. you got to try a little harder or the score will get run up on you. How about that? You know, you are allowed to stop them on the defensive side, and you got to put some effort into it and some heart, and we've seen neither. The Redskins await the kickoff, and nothing has gone their way all game long. The score is 35 to 0. Jackson's going to run this one out. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. The Redskins offense comes onto the field, and even if they put together a scoring drive, there's not going to be any difference here in the outcome. Now just playing for a little bit of pride and perhaps to try to get things going for next week. Well, pride's gone out the window. You've lost that already because it's been a dismal performance by your whole football team today. And I say this on the offensive side. Don't press the issue. Just get this game over with. Second and ten. Morris with the grab. And Morris is tackled down after a gain of 12. Well, you're really in a tough spot, but that is a good job picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. All you can do, just keep picking up those first downs. You hope it leads you to a score, and then you play the game from there. First and ten. Catch made. Adams is in on the tackle. So they complete that one, yet it's still second down. Well, Phil, I enjoyed watching the game with you, and how about a final thought about that victory? Well, you know, Jim, I wish I could say the same that I enjoyed spending these <laughs> last three hours with you, but that's just not the case. But, no, just kidding, of course. Nice win. they got to feel good about what they've done and uh, uh, celebrate a little tonight. I think I'll see you next week, maybe. For Phil Sims and all the crew, Jim Nance saying so long. Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence. Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence.
everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this 